Nice. Just up ahead. My sins are standing down. Let's talk. And there she is. The most resilient woman in the Commonwealth. You came a long way. Let's hear it. Enough! Just... Where is my baby? <laughs> Lady, I'm just a puppet like you. My stage is a little bigger, that's all. Sean's a good kid. So maybe he's not quite a baby anymore, but... He's doing great. Only... He's not here. He's with the people pulling the strings. God damn it, you mercenary motherfucker! Where is my son? What's the cliche? So close, but yet so far away? That's Sean. But don't worry. You'll die knowing he's safe and happy. A bit older than you expected, but ah oh well. At least he's in a loving home. The Institute. Here, the Institute, I'll find my son no matter where he is. <laughs> That's the spirit. You know, you surprise me, I have to admit. I find myself actually kind of... liking you. You might have actually been a good mother. And I admire your dedication. Even if it is ultimately useless. But I think we've been talking long enough. We both know how this has to end. So, you ready? I'm gonna make you suffer. Attacking human. <laughs> You were barely human.
something's wrong. Someone's coming. Look. Five of them. It's a trap. Damn it. They've got us surrounded. Hacking this is beyond me. Up. Hey, just let me know. Hey, Piper. So, you found a minute for me yet? Is something up? Well, yeah, but it's nothing bad. Just what you said about Nat. I've been going over it again and again in my head, and what you said was right. I can't risk her turning out like me and losing her completely. It's just... Sometimes it feels... Roof access. Hey. Point the... So, you found a minute for me yet? Sure thing. Just... What you said about Nat. I can't risk her turning out like me and losing her completely. It's just... Sometimes it feels like the only things I've got in life are Nat and the paper. Having someone I can count on, someone like you, it's meant a lot to me. Not a lot of people want to hang around with the nosy reporter. Yeah, but you're my kind of nosy. <laughs> you're the exception. I haven't exactly made a lot of friends in this career. I just wanted to write the things I thought were wrong. And when Nat and I first got to Diamond City, there was a lot of wrong. Crooked guards, lousy infrastructure. <laughs> there was a hole in the exterior wall that was patched over with a bookcase. One bookcase. That's it. I started the paper more as an act of desperation than anything else. It turned out I wasn't the only one who wanted things to change. After the first couple of editions, people may not have agreed with what I said, but everyone was listening. Sounds like you really cleaned up Diamond City. Well, a lot of things got done. They even put a second bookshelf over that hole. And patched it with bricks. When that first edition hit the stands, I felt like I'd finally done something worth doing. But afterwards, things... Things changed. People didn't want to talk the way they used to. It seemed that overnight I'd gone from being Piper, friend and confidant, to Piper, the nosy snoop. A lot of folks, they haven't treated me the same since. It started to feel like the only person I could count on was my little sis. You can count on me, Piper. I know I can. You're not afraid of me like everyone else. I was sure that the paper would be the best thing I ever did in my life, but being here with you now, now I don't know. I've needed someone like you in my life for a long time, Blue. I just never expected I'd actually get them. 
So thank you for being the friend I can count on. Thanks, Piper. That means a lot to me. You're welcome. I just uh, wish there was more I could do to show it, other than watching your back. Now, come on. Let's hit the road. Assignment. Huh? 